Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about JavaScript function to merge and sort two arrays. So I just got a call from one of my friend and he asked me for a function. So I got an idea about this video. So let's see how we are going to create such function. So first of all, uh, let's say we have one array, array one, and we have uh, three elements. So uh, first is Zoya, second is Aman, and third one is Charmi. So we have three elements. You can have uh, multiple elements. So this is array one. Okay. We have another array, array two, and in that array we again have a few string elements. Let's say Yash, Hari, and Bob. So he asked me for a function that will merge these two arrays and it will also short from A to Z. So what is expected output here? Expected output here is it should return one array with first element Aman because it starts from A. Second is Bob. Third one is Tarmi. And after that, C, D, E, F, G, H, Hari. After that, Yash. And last, Zoya. So this is expected output. Okay. So we are going to create such function. So let's create one array, constant array 1 and constant array 2. So now we have two arrays. We are creating one JavaScript function. We can name merge sort the function name. Okay. And we are using ES6 arrow method. Here we will use uh, two arguments. The first one is uh, let's say x1 that is array1 and second one is x2. Okay. So let's return our array. So first of all, we need to concat uh, two arrays. To do that, what we have to use, we can simply uh, use JavaScript concat function x1 dot concat and return argument x2. So this is very simple. Let's call this function and log our result. So merge sort that is our function name a1 and a to our arrays. So let's see what it returns. So let me open the console and you can see we have one array. Let me here. So you can see now we have array combined. So this is concated array and the elements are not in order, right? So what this concat function do? It is simply merging these two arrays without any sort order okay so uh, next thing what we have to do we can simply uh, use javascript function javascript sort function that will sort our array so let's see so now you can see we have aman bob charmi hari yash and zoya right so this is function chaining we can use another function after the result of this ex, ex, expression. Okay. So this is the one case. Okay. So now let's say uh, we don't have string. We have numbers like um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. This is array 1. And in second array, Let's say we have a few numbers like 9, 5, 7, 10, and 8. So, what should be the result? The result should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. But it won't return such numbers. So, you can see now 1, 10, 2, 3, 4. Because this sort function is not working properly on numbers. Okay, so what we can do here, 
we can pass one function here like uh, a callback function you can say and in that uh, function you can use z uh, or you can uh, simply use uh, e1 e2 element 1 element 2 and using this function what you can do return a minus b so you can call it compare function so when you do a minus b it will you uh, it will be as it will be calculated as as compared function so e1 minus e2 okay so now let's see now you can see we have number in order in proper order 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and in case you want a reverse order then what you can do you can simply change this compare function e2 minus e1 and it will be in reverse order okay so when you want to uh, merge and sort in a simple manner or you have to uh, merge and sort let's say array of strings right then you can simply use sort function with concat but when you have to uh, deal with numbers then this sort function will not work itself you have to apply one compare callback function in the sort function and using this compare function you can merge using concat and sort using this compare function so i hope it helps all right guys so if you are new to my video kindly visit my channel there are so many videos uploaded on my channel there are more than 200 videos are there and as you are watching um, javascript based video there is one playlist javascript tutorial for beginners have a look that playlist there are more than 46 videos and this will be 47th video for this playlist and you can find many useful basic javascript videos with uh, proper and easy solutions so i hope it will help you in preparing for your exams or might be you are preparing for uh, your uh, interviews if you are new to web and just starting your career then i hope you can find some useful videos on my channel so apart from that if you are uh, struggling with css you can visit the css properties uh, playlist there are 51 videos and more videos will be uploaded soon and there are multi multiple uh, css properties are there and you can uh, find very useful uh, examples as well apart from that there are uh, many useful videos on wordpress uh, there is also a very big playlist you can see how to learn CSS selectors in no time. There are 57 videos and you can find almost all the CSS selectors in one playlist. So you don't have to find here and there for uh, your future CSS references. So I hope uh, it helps. And um, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, kindly subscribe so you can uh, get the notification. Okay, thanks for your time and see you next time around. Bye.